between Hasidic Jews and blacks have run high before. And last night, a deadly accident there triggered violence. mobs ran through Crown Heights. Rocks and bottles were thrown, shots fired. It all happened after a car driven by a Hasidic Jew jumped a curb. A seven-year-old black girl on a bicycle was killed. Her seven-year-old cousin seriously injured. The driver was beaten. Some people in the crowd charged that a private ambulance tended only to the driver and not to the children. The private ambulance arrived uh, just shortly before, about the same time as an EMS, a city ambulance. And uh, so we're still trying to sort that out. The police department is investigating, of course. We have different stories as to what transpired. And we do know that there were two ambulances there, the city ambulance. And we're told at this point they did take the children to the hospital. The other private ambulance took the other people to the hospital. So we have rumors that are going out. And it's certainly in everyone's best interest to make sure that we get all the facts and we can tell exactly what happened rather than going forward with rumors that may create more problems. We apologize for any audio problems that you might have heard there. It is we, it is not your TV set. At any rate, also in the neighborhood last night, an Hasidic man was stabbed to death. And what man was stabbed to death. Well, there were riots on and off uh, throughout the day right now. The police about two hours ago pulled back from a perimeter area at President and Utica, where most of that bottle throwing took place. And they are now in position away from that area right now. It is hoped that cooler heads will prevail. And it has also helped uh, hope that this uh, cool rain will cool heads. And eventually tomorrow things will clear up around here, although there's a great deal of hostility and a good deal of anger, and I don't think this is over yet. Live in Crown Heights, I'm Tim Malloy. Back to the studio to Marvin and Sheila. Okay, Tim, you take care of yourself. Thanks a lot. Okay, Jerry. Good questions around this new round of ethnic tension. The latest in our live report in a moment. ...child was run over and killed by a car driven by a Hasidic Jew. In what seems to have been retaliation, cars were set afire and a Hasid was stabbed and killed. It was a dangerous and a frightening night. Tim Mitten has the story and he's live now in Crown Heights. Tim? Bill, both sides tonight here demanding more police protection. The Hasidic community says that as revenge for the accident which killed the young boy, a Hasidic man, a Jewish man, was stabbed to death two hours later. They say it was revenge, but of course, there are no hard and true facts here. There is just tension. There is just passion. And you can see behind me the police at the 71st Precinct clearly mobilizing at this hour. There is a demonstration ongoing by both sides in other parts of Brooklyn. So far, six police officers have been hurt by flying rocks. Three people have been arrested. Faced with yet another racially fueled emotional fire, the city sent in one of its chief healers today. But Deputy Mayor Bill Lynch found community leaders demanding answers he can't yet provide. The problem began just after 8 last night when a car driven by a Hasidic man went out of control, eventually slamming into a pair of 7-year-old children. Gavin Cato was dead on arrival at the hospital. His cousin Angela Cato remains in serious condition tonight. The station wagon's driver was treated and released from a different hospital after being rushed there by the private Hetzola ambulance, and it's that treatment which ignited the initial debate. Their medical attention was not the same medical attention that the Jewish gentleman got. You understand what I'm saying? They, they, they helped him before they helped the children, and the children were the victims, not him. The medical help, as they arrived, EMS first on Utica Avenue, the private ambulance on President Street went to those victims of the accident where the police directed them to. But EMS and the police borough commander this afternoon took issue with Hadsola's account, insisting that the private ambulance beat the cities to the scene by several minutes. But I would think that anybody trained in medical uh, assistance should help those who need it most. Is that what happened last night? I don't believe it did happen. I don't know what the reasons were. That's what we're looking into. As for possible charges against the driver, police said he was questioned, but that the DA's office so far believes the evidence doesn't justify an arrest. 
and tonight, therefore, there are allegations and counter-allegations, but at the bottom line from community leaders on both sides, there is this. It is the feeling that the hatred here must run so deep that a traffic accident, albeit a fatal accident, could trigger what's going on here now, and they hope to keep it quiet tonight. We're live in Brooklyn. Tim Minton, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Tim, very much.